Welcome back to Studio 10. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You know, you never know who is going to be here in our area. Did you know that season two X Factor winner Tate Stevens was in Mobile last week? He was visiting the country morning radio duo Dan and Shelby at 95 KSJ and they were nice enough to invite us over to meet Tate and he was kind enough to sit down with me for a quick chat on camera. Now before we met Tate, I asked you guys to log on to Facebook and Twitter and send us questions you wanted me to ask Tate and one of you got pretty personal. I'm talking underwear drawer personal. You'll have to watch to see how Tate took it. With Tate Stevens here. Very cool to have you right here in Mobile. Yeah. Season two winner of the X Factor. Now, when you tried out for the X Factor, you were a construction worker, 37 years old when yep. that happened, right? Yep. What made you decide? This is my time. I'm going to do it right now. Um, actually, I didn't. Uh, my wife and kids did. <laughs> they my made the decision for yeah, you. Yeah, they did. They uh, actually, actually signed me up without me knowing. I didn't want to do it. Even after they told me they signed me up, I was still like, I'm not going to do it. I'm okay. not going to go stand with all those people. I mean, there's 20,000 people. I'm going to be standing outside. That's No, I'm not doing that. But my wife, yeah, she said, well, you know what? I'm going to stand with you. I'll go with you and stay there. Aww. So, you know. And she's been by your side ever since? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Your life has obviously changed yeah. in, in so many ways with this competition, but as far as the little things, do you still have meals with your family? I'm not at home much, but uh -huh. when I'm there, yeah, we have family dinners. We sit at the table, we talk about things, just like normal families. Just like, it's just, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, I think that's uh, needed. With X Factor, a $5 million recording contract, yep. that is the biggest dollar amount for any TV show in history. So yeah. what is that money used for? Um, I Really, I just, I buy a lot of dumb stuff. <laughs> No. Dumb stuff. I, I don't believe that. Now, I know it goes towards the music that you're producing. Um, you know what, how it works for me is, um, you know, they, it's a million dollars a year for five years. And, uh, you know, it just it, it helps uh, with the freedom of being able to do this uh, mm -hmm. for a living and still take care of my family. And, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I, I bought my wife a new car, you know, and, and I bought me a new motorcycle. That's which, nice. Yeah, which I thought I needed. Um, <laughs> you needed. I needed. Need it. Keyword. I needed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but nothing else really has changed. It's just giving us a freedom. To, to kind of to be able to do this and, That's and fantastic. yeah live this dream get to all of them but we want to know um, Brianna Edler says where did your favorite cowboy hat come from uh, my favorite cowboy hat well Brianna my, my favorite cowboy hat came uh, from a custom cowboy hat shop uh, there where we live uh, by Kansas City who's not there anymore they don't make the hats anymore um, so now I just go to your wherever you buy Western wear, and I get the hats. <laughs> okay, you, but you do have a favorite. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is this it? Um, this is one of them. This one, is one of your favorites, but yeah. not the favorite. Not the favorite. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the light colored one that I wear all the time. Okay, Patricia Taylor says always was impressed with the relationship he had with his wife. Yes. Has your success strengthened that relationship, or has it put a strain on it? Um, it, it's definitely strengthened it, um, because you know, uh, now I'm gone. So now you find out really what you're made of uh, mm -hmm. and, and how, you know, it's, it's strengthened it, though, you know. It's good. Uh, yeah, it definitely. And um, let's see, Holly Bishop says boxers or briefs. Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Neither, Holly. Okay, there you go. Moving on. Right, no. so. <laughs> it's thong. I wear a thong, Holly. <laughs> Thong, 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 thong. And <laughs> finally, picture that. I think a I lot, a lot of ladies junk are. In the trunk too, it's awesome. How do I continue? Not good. That's gonna be the final. Not I can't good. even continue with final <laughs> questions. I will say that you have your self-titled album coming out April 23rd. So I know that's exciting. I can't wait to share it. Um, the country music fans, they came out and they put me here, and I can't thank them enough. And I can't wait for to sh you know for them to hear it, and hopefully they love it, and you know a few hundred million people buy it. Oh yes, absolutely. April twenty third. <laughs> We're going to be looking for it. Tate Stevens, thank you so thank much. You. Great meeting thank you. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you.
What I learned from that, whenever a country music artist makes you nervous, just sing the thong song. I had no idea what to say at that point. Great questions. Thank you all so much. And later today in the show, we will get to see Tate Stevens perform his song, his first single, Power of a Love Song. Now, Tate won season two of The X Factor, and maybe you could win season three. Open call auditions for soloists and groups for season three are being held at the Lakefront Arena in New Orleans on Sunday, April 14th. We'll have more information on our website a little later this morning, so if you're interested in auditioning, be sure you log on to Fox10TV.com and look for the Tate Stevens interview, and all that information will be there.